Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here's the orange SKX. I acquired this from the Aaron Dunlop channel <clears throat> and it is beautiful. So anyway, let's dive into this thing. This, um, this, came, this actual Jubilee came off of my black XKX. This watch came with the standard rubber Seiko strap, <clears throat> which I'd like to buy a uncle Seiko's, uh, waffle strap for this. I think that'd look pretty cool in there too. But, um, I knew Aaron had this in his collection. I was always eyeballing it, but this was just a beautiful watch. I like the the orange and the black. Um, this is kind of like a uh, Halloween, you know, October, November type watch. Um, be nice to get the red one, and that'd be perfect for you know Christmas time, huh? But I don't see the red one. Kind of a little more rare, but um, anyway, um, orange dial, black surrounds. You have uh, gold. Uh, uh, bezel here and God, it just looks, I don't know. I just love, it's funny. You, you look at it a certain angle on the bezel. It looks kind of like a grayish matte color. And then you get it in other lighting and it just looks nice and nice and black. It just, it's really cool. The dial, the bezel, the everything Seiko did with this watch. I mean, that's why, that's why it's a classic. That's why it's been um, a favorite. That's why it's kind of like it's got cult status already. <clears throat> so anyway, of course, day date, non-hacking. This one's made in Japan. Um, been keeping very good time. The hands are also kind of gold. They're gold with, of course, the loom. Um, and that coincides with the, um, the bezel markers where they're, you know, everything's inlaid in gold. Um, if you look at the dial, God, I just love the look of it. Look at the texture of it. Divers, 200 meter, 21 joules. It's just awesome. And of course, it's got awesome Seiko loom, like all the Seikos do. So I'm not going to go into that. Um, let's see. Of course, polished on the sides. Brush on top. It's so funny the the detail you get with one of these watches. They're under two hundred bucks, you know, two hundred, two fifty, I guess, brand new, right around there. But most of the time you get them under two hundred. But if you look how well made they are for the price, it's just it's amazing. And you know what's funny is people knock on these straps, these these Jubilee straps. But you know it's really not much. It's not any different than a Rolex strap from, let's say, the 60s, 70s, even 80s, because it feels exactly the same. I mean, there's really no difference. And, you know, obviously this was developed by Rolex, but very comfortable, okay? Very comfortable to wear. It's just, it's slinky. It really is. And that's why you see all those uh, old geezers with their old Rolexes or even the old Seikos or Citizen that had the style bracelet. They're always wearing them because they're super comfortable. So anyway, but um, on this one, the bezel lines up pretty good. If you look at this watch, check it out. Nice bezel action there. Let's go up here. Lines up pretty good. It's skewed just a hair to the left, but if you look at that, look where the 30 is, look where the uh, top is, it's pretty damn lined up. So this is a good one. And that's hard to find sometimes. Uh, of course, you guys all know 42 mil case, 22 uh, millimeter lugs. I think it's like a 47 lug to lug. And that's what I love about these is they're, they're a little bigger here, you know, 42 mil, which is a good, real good size. But then they're shorter here. They're not, you know, like a 40, you know, or, or a 50 or whatever on some of these watches are all, it's all bloated and huge. And that's what I like. If you could stay around the 40, you know, seven mark lug to lug, I'm happy with that. But uh, there you have it, guys. Here's the back. And I mean, for the money, look at this engraving you get. I mean, it's just, you really can't beat what you get on these Seikos, you cannot, you cannot. And it's really all in-house, Seiko does everything. And that's that's what everyone raves about. Oh, I got in-house this, in-house that. 
it's all right here for a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, of course you have your, your um, crown down here at the four o'clock. And it's got, you know, real good action. Of course you can't wind this one. I have this set, so I'm not gonna try to mess with it right now, but um, um, you guys all know how those works. If you're a Seiko fan, you guys know how it works. Let's put it on the wrist real quick. Now this damn thing, I gained some weight, I guess, so I need to find my other links for this. It's a little tight. I like it to be a little loose, looser than this. But right now it's morning time. It's fitting me, you know, kind of snug. But later in the day, it'll swell up on me. But um, look at that. Beautiful. So anyway, tell me what you think. Appreciate um, likes and subscriptions. So uh, let me know. You guys take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.